I think we're both a little bit nervous, apprehensive about being in your domain and your environment. I personally think I've got a little bit more work to do to get up to <laughs> your standards. <laughs> How do you put the smoke on? You can't have you having an advantage just having the smoke oh, on. Oh no. Not too bad. Just that one a little bit high. Who won the competition? Today I'm very excited as I'm going to be at RAF Fairford and I'm going to be taking on two Red Arrows pilots in a very special Microsoft Flight Simulator challenge to see who's going to do a better job at performing some of the Red Arrows own manoeuvres. These guys are the best of the best that the RAF has to offer, so let's see how I do against them. Hey guys. Hey Matt, Stu, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Matt, how are you doing? Good to meet you, welcome. Let's do it. So guys, welcome, here's our setup. Oh wow, nice. It's a serious bit of kit. So, challenges that we're going to do, folks. We're going to do three challenges that you do in the jet. We're going to perform a simple loop. We're also then going to do a barrel roll and also the detonator break. Sounds good, let's do it. So there's 350 knots. And now you can pull back, looking for that 4G in that pull. Make sure that's a nice straight pull as well. So you can nice. use, the, uh, use the attitude indicator if you need to on the way up. Keep that pull keep going. That going. There's about 4G. And do you try and keep that 4G throughout the whole manoeuvre? Yeah, it'll start to bleed off a little bit. But if you look up now, you should be able to pick up the runway again. Yeah, oh, the runway. There you go. There you it can is. see the smoke trail as well, which helps keep that pull on and stand the throttle up as well, as we're going to go okay. a bit quick here. Just to watch the speed as we yeah, come back down. That's it. Now just watch the altimeter unwind and you're looking to capture that height again. There you go. There you go. For a first go uh, with the smoke on as well. Uh, that was really good. All right, here we go. Nice straight pull. The red warm calls and pulling it up. Can have a look up to the side, see what it looks like. Keep pulling. Nice. That's the airfield. Stand the throttles up so we don't go too fast on the way down. So you've got a really good feature to point back to where you started from. Yeah. Got your red smoke. Straight through the red smoke. Back down towards 500 feet. So there we go. That was round one, the loop. I think things are going pretty good so far between Red 2 and I. The manoeuvre went good for us both. So let's see how things are going as all is still to play for in round two. Round two is the barrel roll. The barrel roll is by far one of the most iconic aerial maneuvers that you'll see the Red Arrows perform. We've all seen them before, and the key here is to manipulate the flight control so that you keep your speed, course, and also your altitude consistent throughout the entirety of the maneuver. Okay, so we're rolling in now. Altitude's come back to about 500 feet. That's looking nice, speed's looking good. Happy with the speed. We'll use the center line. So it's 30 degrees nose up, keep the back pressure, and then roll try and keep it in. Gained a little bit more altitude there and that was a little bit too fast on the roll I think. What do you guys reckon? Yeah it was quite quick, it was more of a kind of up and an aileron roll. So here we go, start a little low here, 300 feet, we're a little slow and uh, smoke's still on. I'm going to go over to the left so we'll just do that thing where we ease up. It's 30, we start the roll but we want to keep the pull going. So you can see we're sort of arcing through the sky there. I see. And then as we come down this side, stand the throttle up, start to pull a bit more. I've overcooked that slightly but you see we've offset ourselves from the runway. Yeah. I see. And you're back at the altitude that you started at as well, right? And the same speed that you started at pretty much. Yeah, there are thereabouts. Yeah. yeah, just about. So that was round two. I definitely found that maneuver a bit more tricky than the first one, but Red 2 executed it brilliantly. So he's going to have to take the win for that round. Still all to play for though. Let's get on with round number three. Round three is the detonator break. This is a very complex maneuver as it involves all of the Red Arrows aircraft. And the key thing here is timing. As we don't have the rest of the Red Arrows with us today, we'll do the same part and we're going to do it one after another. I'll give you the Reds break, break, go. Okay. You start cadence, okay? I'll set the cadence together if you want. Reds, break, break, go. Roll, Roll checker, Roll. pull. That's it, and then it'll be smoke off, go. And then that's when we overbank and then we go and rejoin. Smoke off, go. Reds, break, break, go, roll, check, check up, pull. And then we just hold it at 30 degrees. You see, we've just gone to 30 there. Yeah. The boss will call smoke off, go. And then that's when we just start the overbank and we come back round. So that was round three. 
I think both Red2 and I did a really great job there, and it's going to be tight going into the final scoreboard. Let's see who the winner is. So, what did we think? Overall verdict, who won the competition? Well, I think there was definitely, um, you know, good bits and both. Clearly, we've got the advantage with the manoeuvres because we do this day in, day out. If I had to, ah, oh, it's very, very tricky. Come very on, tricky. I won't be offended. I'll have to go with Red2. Yeah. There we are, you've had a chance to fly the simulator now. What did you think of it? Similarities, differences to the real world aircraft, overall thoughts? Yeah, I'm really impressed actually. The external graphics are amazing. So I think software and technology like that is really, really good and it's definitely got a future within the RAF. Brilliant, well there we go folks. You've had a chance to experience the simulator now and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys at RIAT in just a couple of weeks time.